Big defenseman Jordan Fransu came to the Royals as part of last season's trade that saw leading scorer Kevin Sunder go to the Brandon Wheat Kings. Now a happy Vancouver Islander, Fransu looks back fondly on his time as a Wheaty. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's where I started off my career, being drafted there and then playing there for the first year and a half of my, my career. So i um, got a lot of good friends there and uh, a lot of good memories. After some early season struggles, Fransu sat out one game as a healthy scratch. The coaching staff was glad to see him quickly bounce back in a win against the Calgary Hitmen. He was just moving the puck quick. Um, he was getting up the ice. He was defending uh, the blue line well. He was moving his feet. Uh, he was physical. He didn't get beat um, a lot to the outside. Uh, he was just a little bit more intense and he was just getting it and moving it. Getting it and moving it. So I think that's the key thing. When he does that well, he's really effective. The turnaround came just in time for the Royals' next opponent. Fransu's former mates, the Brandon Wheat Kings. Uh, it's really important, I guess. Just a little bit of a rivalry, you know. You always want to be able to bug your buddies about, you know, this game that happened then and stuff. So it's, uh, it'll be really exciting. A year later, Fransu still has good friends on his old team. Corbin Bowes, I train with him in the summer. I see him all the time and hang out. Um, my roommate, Tyrell Seaman, another guy. So uh, I got you know, quite a few guys on the team still which means quite a few guys you might have to treat very badly. Uh, no, I think it's pretty, pretty general knowledge throughout all players that you know you can be great friends off the ice, but once it comes to game time, uh, everybody's an opponent. The Royals had a slow start against Brandon, but won the game in overtime, leaving Fransu to move past old home week and into what he sees as a leadership role moving forward. Um, I think for, for everybody, you know, 19, 20, 18 year olds, anybody returning really, you know, there's lots of young guys, especially on defense that, um, you know, we just got to show them the way and, you know, we were all there at one point. So, you know, sometimes they have a tough go. You know, you just got to encourage them and try and help them. For Royal Report, I'm Scott Earle.